What's up everyone? Welcome to Mission of Medicine. My name is Akeem Henry. And I'm Cameron Burke. We want to give you five quick steps about how you can secure your research position for the summer. Let's get into how to do this. First, step one. I think you all should really try your best to apply early. Look for programs and just start early because that's like the key. A lot of these programs, the application comes out early fall and then the application is due early spring of the next year. So I applied for the program that I'm in now currently early in the fall. I saw it, I searched early during the summer and then when the fall semester hit and the application came out, I was the first person, one of the first people to submit my application and I got it because it was on a rolling admission too. So that's really crucial. So if you start early and you get a program that's rolling admission and you get your application in there as soon as possible, that would be much more beneficial for you because you know, it's a first come first serve basis. Definitely. Um, Sam, I started in like September, um, the September before the summer that I wanted to start the program. And uh, doing that, it just allowed me to, to look for what I wanted to do um, and kind of get my start making plans and, and things early and, and far in advance. So that would be ready when it was time to, to start um, the application. For sure. A lot of people feel as though that, you know, research opportunities is not like they're in their own backyard. And come to find out after like searching early and looking into things, this leads me into step two is that you need to search on your campus. Look around on your campus to see if you have any PIs, which is principal investigators. They're the people that run the research programs at your school. So make sure you look at your own campus and check on the websites and see if there's professors at your school that may have research labs that you could get into and get involved with. Yeah, definitely look on your campus. Um, and if you if you look on your campus and find your campus doesn't have what you're necessarily interested in, then, then go online and search whatever you're interested in or, or look around for different programs. Um, your research doesn't necessarily have to be in medically related, um, but I think that you know research and, and engaging in research is a part of definitely a part of the medical field, developing new knowledge to help you know treat patients one day. So showing that you're intellectually curious is definitely a great trait to have when you know you're going through the medical school application process. So for me, I knew that I was interested in something a little bit more medically related for a research project. So I went online and I looked for different programs that medical centers have, and I was able to find something that, uh, a program that had a partnership with my undergraduate institution, and I was able to, to go to a, a 10 week program at a, at a medical school and, uh, and work on a research project there. So definitely look around, start with on your campus, and then if you, know, if you don't find what you're looking for there, then look, look um, in the, around the country and in, in, in your area, different things that might be available. And um, if you search, you'll be able to find what you're looking for. And um, a lot of times you even be able to get a stipend out of it, which is really nice. So definitely start early um, and then search your campus and, and online for the type of program you're looking for. Definitely. I agree. Uh, Cameron and I have been to plenty of medical conferences throughout our years uh, so far. And a lot of the admission committee uh, members, they say that, you know, it doesn't really matter what your research is in. You can be public health business it don't really matter as long as you're like showing that you're curious and you're out there wanting to engage in research so our next step for the finding a research inter internship is step three which is look at the application requirements for whatever program you think you like um, there's going to be for each program it's going to be a little bit different um, it might be catered towards students with a certain interest um, maybe students want to do mb phd or students want to go into research um, or it might be a little bit more open um, in addition, there might be GPA requirements, letter recommendation requirements, things like that. So it's important to look for all those things so that you can make sure you have those characteristics that they're looking for, and then you can start working on, on the application. Definitely. You want to look early and see what's the requirements. Make sure that you meet the GPA requirement. Make sure if you don't have letter recommendations or professors that you can reach out to, you start working on that early. So that leads us into our step four, which is letters of recommendation. That's really crucial. You wanna make sure that you have professors or teachers or advisors at your school that you can reach out to that can attest to your abilities and the capability that you can portray doing research and being involved in someone else's research lab. So my freshman year, I got on campus and that's when my freshman year, my sophomore year actually is when I applied, but you know, you're still an underclassman. You may not have that much strong relationships with professors. Um, the only person that really knew me well at the time was my advisor. So I made sure I kept the ties really strong with her and I reached out to her when it was time to apply. And she was the first person willing to uh, write me a letter of recommendation. So that was really beneficial to have that. 
because she could really talk about, you know, how I was persistent and talk about the characteristics that I had. And so that was really good. So make sure you want to have a strong letter of recommendation. And for people like us who go to a very big school, it can be especially hard to, to find someone who can write a letter of recommendation for you. So it's important that you build relationships with professors or uh, mentors or counselors because you're going to need letters of recommendation in the future for different programs and eventually for medical school. So one of the ways that we've gone about doing that is going to office hours and asking questions and engaging with our professors so that they you know, know that we're passionate people, that we're, um, we work hard and, and that we have some good qualities that they can be able to talk about in the letter. In a, in a letter. So it's important to definitely build those relationships. And it's especially important if you go to a really big school that you get in there and get that face time with with a professor or someone who will be able to attest to your your qualities in the future. Our last step, step five, is submit a strong application as and as early as you can. Um, like we he was saying earlier, um, some programs on rolling admissions or in general, it's it's good to apply early so that you you show that you're really interested and passionate about you know going into this particular program. So you want to submit a strong application. Make sure you have all the qualities. Um, and the things that you need and, and a good application that they listed on the on the program website. Um, if you have to write um, a personal statement or anything like that, make sure you really show why that this program will be important to you and why you're interested in the program or interested in research in general. And if you submit a strong application, um, there's a great possibility that you get a good result and wind up getting that definitely, internship position. Definitely. So if you do all the steps before, like you said, you'll be good. But you know, sometimes things might not go your way. So don't get discouraged if you get denied to a, a research program, you didn't get the one that you really wanted to get to. Make sure you apply to multiple uh, locations so you can have a lot of options just in case it doesn't go your way. And just keep grinding and keep looking and don't give up because you know what, we got this. Thank you for checking out our YouTube video. I hope you all enjoyed it and hopefully you get your uh, research position that you want. And if you do, make sure you comment below, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Good Thank luck. you for checking out Mission to Medicine. Peace. I had a skateboard back in the day. I did have a skateboard. My cousin bought it for me. Out here trapping with Cameron. You can definitely see that. You say you can definitely see that.